Oh, I like God. these guys. Oh my God, they're like bulls. <laughs> they're like balls? Bull. Oh my God, the animal, a male cow. Okay, okay, do me a favor. Say bull, ball, and bull all after one another. Bull, bull, bowl. <laughs> Don't emphasize, just say it in quick succession. <laughs> bull, bull, bowl. Quack. <laughs> Point and proven. <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Zombie here and today we are back with another KH3 episode working way through Olympus more, which I feel like these worlds take longer to go through as well, which is quite enjoyable. It means more fun to be had. So I'm loving that. We're loving the games. We did take note of two things we we're gonna talk about and we will talk about them. We promised and we will do it. We did not forget. So let's just jump into it. All right, yes. here we go. Yeah. Um, before we talk about the things, I just know there's gonna be a quick scene here that comes up. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> oh, we got the Titan. Look, there's the Rock Titan. Throwing Yay. all the boulders. Well, at least these ones get, 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 no. get stuck spinning in the air. Yeah, right? Herc. Donald, stand under the boulders. Um, so now, now they're like falling from the sky. Wait, can I grab these apples? Apples. Yay. Oh, those are apricots. Those look like apples to me. <laughs> they did look like apples. <laughs> uh, it doesn't all right. look like an apricot at all. So this is kind of a cool mechanic here that you have to like run up and dodge the rocks as you're going up. And you can see like he has like cool Ooh. dodging animations. You can see like the side <gasps> hop that I'm doing. I like this. Um, so yeah, I, I freaking amazing. This game is so amazing and has so many attributes to it. You are sliding down things, you're running up walls, you're doing these side dodges. Like, like there's so much to love about this game, just aesthetically and game mechanic wise, in my opinion. Um, yeah. I just want to point that out. Oh, ow. Like the, the, the things that I see that like people gripe on would be like the attractions and stuff. And like, I'm kind of in agreement there where it's like, it's unnecessary. Like it's cool in certain situations maybe. Yeah. Um, but anyways, Ray, what, we, cool, what did you want to say though? Oh, I'm glad you think it's cool though. <laughs> Sorry so, to interrupt um, that. They just found out that Hercules is a god. Yeah. So maybe Yen Sid didn't know, but that he sent Sora to a god to learn how to regrain his strength. That just doesn't even seem fair. How so? Because, because Hercules is a god, so he's oh. going to be more powerful than Sora and be able to get his strength back in different ways. Mm. I see. And it's, just, and it's just, you sent a child to a god to learn how to get <laughs> his strength back. Well, what the hell? When you initially said it, I thought of it in regards to he's a god, so he if anybody can help you, it's him, right? But I suppose when you think of it like his like trying to learn specifically abilities from him, and it's like it's like tr a god trying to teach the, a peasant how to pick up a, a boulder. It's like you're not gonna yeah. be able to do it. They're a god. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Unless they can bestow some godly power on you, which we know her cannot do. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's yeah. why I kind of got annoyed when I realized that when he was like, "Oh, my, I'm, I'm, I'm the, my dad's the king of gods," and it's just like, "Well, yeah, he's the, he's the king of gods, and you're a demigod. <laughs> How are you going to be able to help Sora?" Agreed. Sora needs to go. Sora needs to go to pe people, like actual people, not gods. <laughs> like Riku, you know, yes. who knows the power of waking, perhaps. I don't know, just yeah. a thought. <laughs> like I don't know, maybe some other Keyblade builder that uh, got the mastery rank at the same time when Zora was meant to. <laughs> <laughs> no shade, no shade. Um, I did Jesus. get a new attraction, by the way. So let's see this one, Blast Blaster Blaze. So we're basically in a, a gunship, essentially, and we just. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like cheating, but okay. And we are look at like look how fast I'm slaughtering these guys. And I'm okay with it in this world, per se, because I feel like this is an introduction into it. So, like, yeah. I can appreciate it for, like, this is to showcase how attractions work, how strong they can be, and how useful they can be. Um, but, like, overall, I, how do I get fires? I don't, I haven't used fire in a while. So let's use the mm -hmm. strongest fire spell in the game. I like it. Like, that's another thing that they give you in the command bar on the left side of the screen. Like, you, you're starting to see how much shit the game is giving you. Yeah. And that is why people think this game is extremely easy. I can tell you right now, I only died once in my entire playthrough. First time go through, completely blind, obviously. I didn't even watch freaking trailers except the first one. And um, I died once against like the final boss, and that was it. I wow. never died after that or before that. Um, so yeah, just want to point that out there. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, so that's the, kind of the, the just there, which is why I will be turning attractions off. I would be tempted to turn team attacks off, but um, judging by how we get some ally characters, I kind of want to keep that one on a little bit. I'll just probably avoid using them so much because you can control if you activated it or not. Yeah, that's fair. But yeah, so just uh -oh. just uh, trying to point out because I know there's people out there who both like and dislike this game. I'm trying to, you know, paint both sides of it a little bit. Um, but in the end, you'll get my own opinions on the matter. So, <laughs> so congratulations. You what have signed up for Zombo's opinions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what happens when it's your channel. <laughs> for the low price of nine ninety nine. <laughs> well. No, I'm kidding. Sorry, enough. were you gonna say something? You said you had something to say at the same time, like I thought of Hercules' strength thing. Yes. Yes. I was wondering what it was. I yeah, it was. I was just kind of waiting because I wanted to get my thoughts out about that other thing quick. Um, but yeah, so. The thing that came to my mind when that whole Hercules scene happened was the whole family thing for, for Sora. And I can't remember if I said this. I definitely thought about saying this in the past. Sora is obviously the the bestest of friend you could ever imagine. Like, there's never been a more loyal, trustworthy and friend who cares about you than Sora. Yeah. He's the best. When it comes to family, he's ass. He doesn't yes. give a shit. So you better yeah. be his friend and nothing more because he won't no. give a shit about you. <laughs> Kyrie, yes. I don't know how he's going to be as a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because it's still like a friend, you know, boyfriend. It yeah. might be okay. Maybe. But once you guys get married, you're done. You're, he's <laughs> not going to see you. <laughs> he's, he's, that, he's that dad that leaves to get milk and just doesn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> milk and cigarettes and never comes home. <laughs> Yep, he's I feel that sorry guy. For his mama and dad now. Well, we don't know if he has a dad, but we well, do know he has mom a mom then. confirmed. Because we heard like, his talk. His well, I guess, mom is pulling her hair out. I, I guess maybe we shouldn't assume necessarily it's his mom, but it's at least a guardian of some sort. That's yeah. that, I guess, but it would be assumed that it is his mom. Oh, I just. Oh, and they gave me attraction. Oh, here we go. All right, so here's another one. This one's the most overpowered. We do not get this very often. It's very specific when we get this one. I like how I said I've never died and I'm like almost dead. I will be. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, there's that thing. So yeah, so I'm basically shooting fireworks out of the front of this train. I will say wow. it's not doing that much damage to him though at the moment, is it? It's doing a fair bit. But yeah, so this is another one. So how many? I've showed you four attractions now. And there's yes. there's one I can think of that I haven't shown you. Two, two. I, I So there must be seven then. Maybe seven. So I think I think this you only get this mad. one like in two points of the game. So that's why I like wanted to make sure I use it here because it's okay. It's not a common one. This one, this would be one I'm okay with because they do not give you this like crazy. It's very situational. I agree with that. I love the thought of Hercules just seeing this and being like, what the hell? Where did he get a train? What is that thing? He wouldn't <laughs> even know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Here's our finisher. And we killed it with the finisher. Wow. It took like a whole... Wow. I, think, I think the finisher just finishes no matter what with that thing. I'm pretty sure. Because that was doing like no damage with the chimney thing. <laughs> well, he's dead. He is super okay. dead. No. <laughs> He's doing a roly poly down the hill. Yes! I guess I should say he's dead, but he definitely fell off a cliff. Because so <laughs> we fought him before and he didn't die. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well done, Perfect. Donald. And I just want to point out, too, this is a boss who was one of the hardest bosses in Kingdom Hearts 1 that we just fought. I'm sick of the siren. Oh, Don oh Donald! Oh. You My boy! He did it! <laughs> You also gained strength, didn't you, Donald? You were training while I was gone, weren't you, these past games? I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Daddy. I'm proud of you. I wanted to say that, but I couldn't get myself to say it. <laughs> I said it for you. Thank you. 
Um, but I wanted to point out, that was one of the hardest bosses in Kingdom Hearts 1 to face. And this is, like, for all intents and purposes, the first story boss Sora fought in this game and demolished him easily. Yeah. Like, if that doesn't show his strength, I don't know what does. Why the hell did you just pick up fluorite? Uh, we'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> I think there's a chest over here. Oh, I got that one. Right. Oh, because I jumped down to one. Okay, I'm stupid. You picked up so much stuff. You picked up apples, celery, cloves, oyster mushrooms. Like, what are you doing with basil. all of this stuff? Oh, you got basil as well? Oh, God. I wish you could see the what? face I just made. Basil. <laughs> basil. It's basil. It's, n it's not basil. It's basil. It's basil. It's basil. It comes from bay leaf, right? Or is that a different I, thing? I don't even no, know. I don't basil, know food. Basil, I do basil not know food. Basil is its own thing. It's its own thing. Oh, it's its own thing. The hell is their own thing. How dare you <laughs> disgrace my... What? Basil? 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 What do you call it? Basil. Basil. My basil. <laughs> you're not even, you're not even basil. saying it right. Basil. Basil. Ba. As in like ba. 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 <laughs> Yeah. I'm a sheep, Basil. <laughs> We've had this argument with bull and bowl and mole and mole. Just don't. <laughs> you know, it's funny because Ryu pointed this out to me in a stream. Um, I think it was a Final Fantasy stream. And it was that my accent specifically of the American accent is one that people typically go to for people to understand what you're saying. Like if, if someone's trying to... If they're picking an English speaker to communicate with people, they're typically going to try to go for someone with my accent from a national thing. I think it was like a World War II thing when they were all communicating with each other. Like the, I don't know, Midwestern American accent, if you want to call it that, was the one that they picked because it was the most clear. It came okay. about because I was dissing my accent. I'm like, oh, my accent's so boring. It's like the most basic bitch accent ever. Um, and then he's like, well, well, actually, you know, that's, that's kind of a thing that they looked for to communicate to people. We're the communicators, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was pretty cool. That made me feel better about my accent. <laughs> Your accent's good. And then I thought of you saying ball, which she says bull. <laughs> and I'm like, and I thought she was saying bowl. And that miscommunication <laughs> just happened. Anyways, I'd be a terrible game stuff happening. Shit, so We're in Olympus <gasps> itself. We're in heaven oh or whatever God. the hell this is. I don't know. Olympus, I guess. It's Olympus. That's what it is. Oh, look at these goat, Ooh. these satyr things. Satyr goats, heartless. Ooh, they got their masks that they whip down to like a badass. Oh, I like God. these guys. Oh, my God. They're like bulls. <laughs> They're like balls? Bull. Oh, my God. The animal. A male cow. Okay. Okay. Do me a favor. Say bull, ball, and bull all after one another. Bull, bull, bowl. <laughs> Don't emphasize, just say it in quick succession. <laughs> bull, bull, bowl. Fuck. <laughs> Point and proven. No, I'll say it. Ball, 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 bull, bowl. Okay, you're, the last two sounded the same. Bull and bowl. Yeah, yeah. those sound pretty similar. Bull, bowl. Yeah. I, I was talking to my sister about this yesterday, and she was like, it doesn't sound the same at all. And I was like, that's my point. Because <laughs> <laughs> she asked for a bottle of water from the fridge, and I was like, oh, don't you mean a bottle of water? Because I, 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 I was messing with her. And she goes, no, because I'm, I'm not playing into the American joke, and I'm not from Cockney, London. <laughs> and I'm just like, fair enough. <laughs> No, no, that that is a good point though. That bowl and bowl sound pretty similar, yeah. For for Thank you. that, yeah. On my end. Now we have to find. Now we have to find, find a word that sounds like mole and mole, and we can be able to do it with those. Yeah, that's her saying mall and mole to me. It uh, like that. Oh my god. It, it's 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 like the blank a l l words. Those are the ones that I just... come from Greater London. In it, I don't Greater speak London. right. I thought it was Croydon or whatever. Is that is that what Greater London is? Croydon is in Greater London. Okay, I don't. It's a I definitely of, don't know. It's a UK borough geography. of London. Yeah, no, it's a borough of London, but also I sort of lived like I never actually lived in Croydon. <laughs> I don't think unless you just have an accent four. over Croydon. Is that what it is? Well, I was born there, and I grew up around people from there, so it's sort of that general area of like Croydon and Coulston, I guess. Surrey, just Surrey in general. 
But don't go to Essex, it's awful. What are you sorry for? <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm messing with you. That was a dumb joke. <laughs> I was, I was ready to just times. quit. I was going <laughs> to get up and leave. Uh, all right, I just want to point out like these cloud looking things that are like waves, are clouds? These cloud waves. I think it's like the representation, because you see like the clouds in front of it here and the clouds wrapped around the column here, for example, like it's very mm -hmm. like heavenly or these ones rotating around it. It's super cool. Like I said, I really want to take my time going through this game and really point out stuff like the water flowing around this, for example. And like the yeah. water, you can see it rippling around my foot because I'm standing in it. But if I get out of it, the ripples stop. Donald's That's floating cool. on water, so he's Jesus, mm, so that he doesn't count. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, anyways, I just want to point that out. The architecture is also very cool. They have, this is very Greek architecture. As yeah. I am an architect, I will point it out to you guys. Uh, the verticality of it, the the pediments on the top there, also the capitals on top of the columns and the bottom, uh, very amazing. much uh, Greek esque, the very temple. If you uh, in simple terms, temple-y look. It looks like a temple. <laughs> yeah. And go ahead. And I, wonder if this, I was going to say, I was wondering if it's going to ruin my like imagination of when I read Greek retelling books because this is just going to be. Olympus in my mind. <laughs> well, that's interesting because that's kind of the experience I had when going to God of War, for example. I've had preconceived notions from movies and or Hercules here in in this game and in the movie itself. Um, and that kind of gave me notions of characters like Zeus and stuff in, in general and Hercules. But then like you actually learn the mythology behind them and it's like, wow, that's yeah. not how I painted them or how I pictured them because I see freaking Hercules in this, for example. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, to be fair, my retelling books aren't actually going to give me any useful mythology, but they do have the places like Underworld and Olympus, and I've never imagined them. Oh, I never imagined the Underworld, like hate Hercules and... Here's a shot so off, I guess, by the way. I guess it won't ruin it, but it will be stuck <laughs> in my brain. There you go. So now you have like Kingdom Hearts Underworld in your mind? With the well, green smoke. I have the Kingdom Hearts underwater in my brain, but I also have what I imagine from the book in my brain. Uh, so okay. I've got like two separate underworlds in my head. Okay, I'm doing the blaster blaze again because I'd miss the finisher, so I'm going to use that quickly. I'm okay. just going to immediately go finisher on this so you can see. There you go. Oh, that didn't even oh. end it. Okay, now it's over. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, all right. Anyway, I just want to show that to you. But yeah, no, that's that's completely valid, and that's definitely how I perceive things in the past. Especially if something was like a like a movie before I watched the movie before I read the book, for example. Yeah. That's yeah. like I'll envision things while I'm reading the book as I saw it in the movie, and it like Harry Potter, for example. That's yeah. that's a good one where I read the books after I saw the movies, and that's ex I like okay, I'm picturing Harry how he is in the movies. I'm picturing Hermione or whatever. It's like. So that's kind of where my mind goes to in that situation. Yeah. So I suppose that's yeah, the same that problem. Thing. Well, it's not really you... a problem, but I've had that thing. Yeah. I guess it depends how you look at it. Some people, that's why some people like to read the book first and then so they can yeah. like imagine it themselves or whatever. And then, then they watch the movie and then they get disappointed because it's not what they imagined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I just, I try my best to imagine just the, like blank the movie out of my brain when I read Harry Potter and just imagine what I'm going to imagine. But sometimes it does creep in, you know, which is, yeah. it's fair. It's what I've known since they came out. I didn't read the books when I was younger. Right. I still haven't finished them. Um, I get distracted. I've read some of them three times and all of them two times. You're a better man than, than I am a person. <laughs> yeah. Is that what dictates it? Is is Harry Potter books? <laughs> if you read it, just books in general. Just it takes me so long to finish one because I'll put it down and be like, I'm not emotionally ready to deal with what's going to happen in that, and then I, it takes me forever to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. I, so part of me like I like the fact that I have the movie as a basis because it helps me follow the story. I think a little bit better. Yeah. Well, where, like, for example, I read the Witcher books, which, I mean, is different than the show. Here's the rail gauntlets, which this is what I called uh, grinding rain in the 
birth by sleep thing because it's different than the sliding thing. This is what I knew it to be is this this grinding thing on the rail. Um, and then we have the sliding thing, which we saw earlier in the world. Okay. But there was sliding. There but yeah, sliding. so this, this has combat aspects to it as well, where you can like shoot stuff. Cool. Uh, uh, so we'll see like some heartless here and we go boop, boop. And shoot them. Yeah. It's like a little, little roller coaster -y thing. It's kind of fun. I feel I like, like you just went into an artery of something. Yeah. <laughs> the arteries of Olympus. So it was. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so back to the Witcher thing I was saying. Like, I, I read the book and I only seen like the first like uh, season of The Witcher. I think that was the only one that was out at the time that I read that. And it was really hard to picture things past of it. One was like the writing style is just a little bit more cumbersome on focusing and comprehending, I suppose, in my opinion. And, and for me personally. But uh, like when it was like the first book, when it was some of the beats of the show, I could follow it a lot better and kind of visualize it better. I didn't I don't necessarily have a problem like imagining things like I I was in pretty good with my imagination at least, but yeah. it's just kind of like doing all that at once. It's just very helpful to have yeah. that. I usually don't have a problem imagining things unless it comes to clothing. Like the other book series I read where they wore just normal everyday clothes, but it was a fantasy like fairy realm and whatever. And uh -huh. it gives very in-depth descriptions about what it looks like. And I had to Google most of it because I was like, I have no idea what she's meant to look like right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well there's even some... then I didn't get that right, so. There's like fashion <laughs> stuff. I, I can't, I couldn't tell you for sure because I can't remember. Like, how did I get Blazaga? Is because Donald's using magic or something? I don't. Maybe. I don't understand. Um, but I know there's been like articles of clothing that you've mentioned to me before and I have no idea what the hell that is and so like I don't know what to imagine when you say it and so yeah. or, or it'll be like a jumper for example which Rain's definition of a jumper is much different than my definition of a jumper yeah of I don't what know that what looks like <laughs> um so so it's like sometimes it's just like a miscommunication so you're imagining one thing but the other person's talking about a new thing it definitely happens more when you're talking to someone who grew up in a completely different place than you <laughs> yeah. Like you in the UK, you have your own terms for things and what you call things. And I, we have our own things here in America. And depending where you are in America, it's different as well. But it's it's less different, I suppose, in the grand sense than you and me. Yeah, like I, 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 think, I've brought up, I think I've brought up the word pinafore before and you don't know what that is. Pin yeah, I know what that is. That might yeah. just be me, though, being dumb. <laughs> I don't want to speak for all Americans on that one. It's just a thing. I I mean, I wouldn't... I don't really know if it's a thing that you wear into adulthood, but it's definitely a part of a school uniform over here. Well, we and don't really I do school uniforms it. here. Yeah, so, like, you wouldn't really know what that is. I freaking hate school uniforms. Yeah, I would hate it. I, it's like another way to not be able to express yourself, and that kind of sucks. Yeah, and then you get the girls that want to express themselves so they roll up their skirts and I'm like well that's okay and then when people <laughs> don't wear their ties correctly or what? <laughs> what do you mean when you say they roll up their skirts <laughs> well, it's just, they, they, <laughs> so where I went to school you're they, it's sort of like a kilt almost and okay. they went below the knee which I was fine with because if I'm going to wear it I might as well wear it the way they want me to but all the other girls would roll it up to make it like <laughs> <laughs> To make Sorry. it their sort of length that they want, but if that that wouldn't bug me, but also it bugs me when people don't tie their ties correctly. So I guess the school uniforms are just bad because people don't stick to them, and then I get irritated, and then I also don't like wearing them. <laughs> just uh, just cheat with a clip-on tie. That's all. I've you I've actually you can't cheat. They don't let you. They do, they give you a very specific tie you have to wear. And do you have to wear a tie? No I, uh, in high school, yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, my dad I, had to teach me how to tie that. I had to. God damn it, Mickey! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Is there <laughs> There's another more one. Mickey stuff? Oh Is my god! Right on there. Oh god. I pointed out the one back. I don't know if you're, you were kind of talking about your story, but no, I, I did see it. Oh, okay. Okay, here's a teacup thing, but this is like an actual attribute thing. So we gotta like align these things. Yeah. And pour it into the into the anvil, I guess. Anvil? Why have you got pour it into an anvil? 
I don't know. That's just how godly stuff works. You can't pour it into an anvil. There we go. There's a hole in the top of the anvil. What? I don't like yeah, the way like, that works. It's like an imprint on it. I don't know if it's like... Let's look. We can look at it when we get down here, but... Is it like a mold? There it is, right there. Oh, why would you pour it? Ah. Oh. What? You That's not how anvils work. Uh, you're supposed to beat the thing on it. Like, look at the hammer, and it's supposed yeah. to be heated up. Yeah. It's fine. They have to make it work because they don't have a smith here, so... And we got a new uh, shield for goofs. Yay. Yeah, sorry I went off on school uniforms. I just don't like them. No, you're good. I thought it was interesting. I mean, especially, especially I know a lot of our viewers are American, at least based on my statistics on YouTube. So I'm yeah. sure a lot of them were interested to hear about that as well. well. It's just trousers are uncomfortable. So I I didn't really wear those. And then I still hate trousers. And I'm not really a skirt person. So I was stuck between choosing something that's really I hate and it's uncomfortable and another thing I just don't feel very me in. So Yeah. Yeah, well that's I mean, that's my biggest gripe with the school uniforms. Like I get like dress codes and stuff, there's certain things that you don't want people to wear, and that's fine. Um yeah. but in terms of like a school uniform like you have to wear this, that just sucks. Yeah, <laughs> and it's also really uncomfortable. Oh yeah, I, I bet. <laughs> it doesn't sound very great when you have to... Ties are never fun to wear. I had to no. wear one for... I When I worked at a grocery store at one point, they required you to wear like a white shirt, black tie, black... Like basically dress pants essentially when you're working there. And you're working at register and stuff or pushing pushing carts in. And so you're like, you're sweating in this stuff and it's not fun. Yeah. Um, so I know it sucks. Like that is not great. Luckily, yeah. that didn't last terribly long. It was like a few months, and then they switched the dress code, fortunately for me. <laughs> and also, I actually once... This is this is just reminding me of something that really upset me. My French teacher, I had two of them. I hated the younger one. Because <laughs> she was just an ass. Oh, hang on. Is that oh, yeah. So we're learning about air stepping right now. So this... Yeah. I, I, I don't know if they really explained shot locks to me, but we've seen that, and we saw that in Birth by Sleep. Yeah. Um, so another attribute of this little focus thing, which you can see in the lower right, I'm maxed right now, but and it says focus, and it goes down as I'm holding this view down. You can also see a little gauge around the circle yeah. uh, changing, and it, it regens if I don't do anything, so that's nice. Okay. Um, but that also, it has, obviously this is the way I do shock locks, and then I can also do it to air step, which shoots me across the map. Oh, wow. Yep. Yep. Another ability to again. Just to, you know, keep listening. I love this dive thing, by the way. I yeah. know we've seen it a couple times. And at point, I just didn't really get a, a clear comment on you about it, uh, from you about it. So I was just curious what your opinions are on it. That's cool. I like it. I like sounding different. In this game. <laughs> yeah, it sounded different. <laughs> no, I do like it. I just, I have a hard time noticing it sometimes because sometimes I don't pay attention to what Sora's actually doing. But. I definitely yeah. do. As the player, zoink! And now he's like some jumpies off of different things. Kind of cool. And then cool. just just to really showcase this little divey thing for you, you can dive <gasps> down to here. Oh, it looks so cool with everything moving. And then you can smash and then break this thing and get a chest. Nice! Wow! Look at that. Very nice. fun. It they is. teach they teach this little smashing mechanic yeah, later in the game, but I know it now, so. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's that. Hey. Probably yeah, sorry, I saw... I, you, well, what? The thing. The yeah, and... shot locking jump. Oh, shoot. What's it called? What's the yeah. shot lock jump called? Air stepping. Air stepping, right. Damn it. I hate I hate that. Let's go back over <laughs> there. I go back. I love air stepping. Damn it, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, it sucks. I hate air stepping. <laughs> You know, but I agree with you, what you said about like the stuff passing me as I was falling. It's very yeah. cool, and it it tailors better. Not that Dream Drop Distance is bad, but better to verticality for that aspect that you really go vertical in this game. Like, like this is a perfect example of how much you can like fall down, and I love that. Come on, lock yeah. into that thing. Thank you. All this stuff, all this debris, <laughs> which is in my way. <laughs> I hate how the word debris is spelled. <laughs> yeah. Debris. With the, the, why is there an S at the end? Because Is English. it debris? Debris. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Debris. Yeah. 
Oh, I love it. Anyways, cutscene. Let's see what's in store. Oh, here's her. Nice of you to show up. How did it, we beat you here? Why? I thought we split up so you got here faster. A lava titan. Oh, serves Zeus right, honestly. I'm the one giving orders now. See, he's got a cooler throne. He does. It's a wonder boy. We're gonna stop you. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Who are those two again? I have no Is that Apollo a, or something? Another couple gods. One's probably Athena. I think I saw an owl. Okay. Get them. You got a lava titan, ice titan, tornado titan? titan, wind titan? Yeah, I guess wind. Yeah. Zora, Donald, Goofy. Oh. Yeah. They only turn around once he said all three of their names. Yep. <laughs> and then Meg says, Koofy. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> but she just shows up out of nowhere. Yeah. Bites her lower lip and puts her finger in her mouth quickly. <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> All right. So now we're fighting oh, three like more the Titans. Lava. The lava one is so cool looking. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it burned my butt. And He's it froze like my butt. face. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Do that shot clock. Oop, I messed it up. Ah, shoot. <laughs> That was so good too. Sorry I went so off on about school uniforms, by the way. I didn't even finish what I was saying, but it's not important anymore because it's just, I shouldn't, <laughs> I shouldn't go off on it. You're good. I, I don't, like, again, I don't care. Kind of hate so angry. I hate the Lava Titan more than I think, so I'm gonna whack on this one. Oh, but he's so cool. He's like Clayface. He molds. He molds. Yeah, some people think the aesthetic of this game looks pretty uh, clay like. I, I guess I kind of see the clay. I like it though. I love although the aesthetics. I, although if he tried to turn into someone else like Clayface does, it'd be a very big version of that person. <laughs> Clayface style, is that what you said? Yeah, like what I'm what he reminds me of is a character from uh DC. Uh oh, who, that's an actual who, thing. Yeah, he can make himself look like anyone, but when he looks like himself, he's all clay and drippy. Oh. Yeah. He, he kinda morph into whatever. Yeah, but if this guy morphed into someone else, he'd be very big. <laughs> well, he he could probably shrink his particles. I mean, I'm assuming that's what the clay guy does, because it makes no sense. They can shape shift into anybody. Yeah, true. Maybe we shouldn't science it. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Here's another one. Attraction of Magus Curse... Curse out. Okay, yeah, so you just have to, like, line this up with the ground, so you'll see rings on the ground that I just have to hit X at the right time. The We're on a carousel. Kind of me out. Have I ever mentioned how much I hate ice cream vans? No. I hate ice cream vans. They creep me out. Please don't. <laughs> every, every time. <laughs> every time I hear one. <laughs> oh, I missed the finisher. Damn you. It's your fault. You're going to be distracted with the ice cream truck. <laughs> Every time I hear an ice cream van, it just, they creep me out and I just want to run. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. Mm -mm. I like them. Personally. Keep them. Oh, this guy's almost dead. My family think it's funny. Oh, here he is, isn't he? He's blowing me. Stop blowing me. <laughs> <laughs> On second thought. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right, we did it. Again, we bought, beat even more Titans that were super strong in the other game. And at the same time! Just one Titan <laughs> left. One Titan left. Oh, now we're fighting in air. I guess. <laughs> I like the eyes. Donald Middle! We're shooting freaking meteors. Donald absolutely got stronger. Yeah. Good you job, said, Donald. So, by Yen Sid's logic, Donald and Goofy are now stronger than Sora? I, I want to say he made a comment about them not being as strong either, and we all lost skill or whatever. I, maybe I'm thinking Chain of Memories when he, somebody said that. That we all lost abilities or whatever and got weaker. I don't know. We, we, I think we can just come to the conclusion. Yen Sid's wrong. He's stupid and he's dumb and he's one of the worst characters in the game. Um, can we look at and, him and tell him that he's wrong? Yeah, I will. And 
he, the sword definitely came down in the bubble at the beginning of this game when he landed on his heart platform, so he's wrong. Yeah. And he was probably wearing a crown. <laughs> at least around his neck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm just imagining that, that scene now, but like, it soars, like, what is it? It's ability, it's different abilities that Sora has. So instead of it's she came down a bubble, it's he does flow motion, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> He wore a crown and he did flow motion, Doug. <laughs> Yen Yo, Sid. Go ahead, tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> I love that little sequence there, by the way, of the diving through and dodging things. Very cool. Yeah. And now I'm like in it's... an aerial fight. He's got arms, oh my god. <laughs> and he's shooting him like cannons out here. I love this. This is so cool looking. Oh, it's so incredibly cool and cinematic and... His uh. eyes look so sad when you hit him. Oh, wait, wait, I'm just trying to have fun. I just, like, oh, just wind. I just How are you actually hitting him? He is just wind. I was trying to play baseball with you. I'm just thrusting. You're supposed to hit it. You have a keyblade after all. Oh, I just was trying to have fun, man. I was just out here to have a good time, man. So he actually has the ice titan beneath him, and he's using him to shoot ice shards at me. And then he'll go over to the lava titan, and he'll spew fireballs at me, for example. Kind of cool. Yeah. I like that. That is cool. It's good game design. A little aesthetics. Nice boss mechanics. Nice mechanics. Oh my god, though, and I'm gonna die probably, maybe. Because I still don't have items equipped. Because I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I can't shot block him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can you even hit me when I'm next, right next to you? I don't think so. Sonic Ooh, Blade him. Nice. Oh. Oh, I dashed like well over here. Oh, I got we got our, we got the goofs back. Uh, can you heal me, Donnie? Oh, Donnie? Oh, Donnie doesn't have enough. Heal me, <laughs> Donnie. Donnie. <laughs> Thanks, Donnie. Dodge, dodge. I, I feel this maybe they made this. Oh, Blaster Blaze. I could do that. But why? Why would I do that when I can just play the game how it should be played without that? Stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Whack. Whack. Okay, there we go. Ow. <laughs> you're like hit, 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 and then Hercules comes in, and just the entire time you're hitting him, he's winding up one punch. <laughs> <laughs> And he hits him once. Ah, uh, leave it God, to her. Hercules. Oh, Ooh. I love this. It's like launching the buildings and stuff that was broken below the ice. Then he has the lava titan stuff that he's shooting at me. So cool. And surprisingly, pretty easy to avoid it all. Oh, I'm so looking forward to what other bosses are gonna look like, and like how their how their fights are gonna work. Yeah, I guess, uh, what were some of your predictions, by the way? I mean, I guess the fight's oh. almost over, so maybe I shouldn't get too much into it right now. Um, oh. I mentioned the first one, which is I feel like someone's gonna die. <laughs> Do you think someone... someone... <laughs> Any predictions on who? I don't... I feel like it's gotta be someone close to Sora. Maybe it's Sora. I don't know. I just... I hope no one... Maybe they would be nicer and kill off like sort of like a slightly lesser character, which I hate to say it. Maybe they'd kill Lee. Ah! Oh, <laughs> whoa! I, I know. I'm sorry. I had to just because he's like he's not like one of the main three and well, however many there are. I, so I had to say it. And he's I the last like survivor of that group. Yeah, I feel like someone's gonna die, and it might be Lee. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's Mickey. That'd be nice. Oh, God. We can only hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cutscene, though. We'll get more for your prediction in a second. Oh, he's angry. Yeah, the Rock Titan's up here now. Now we have four of them. Uh -oh. now Sora's probably too weak for this. Them. You're right. <laughs> four of us, too. Actually, I think I can make it five. Well, is Meg going to get off her ass? No, he's gonna oh, save he's gonna Zeus. <laughs> oh, I hope Zeus would just be stuck in there. Would have been nice. <laughs> Thank you. Though he doesn't boy. suck in this game or movie. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <what laughs> he's actually quite cheerful and amusing. Work. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> they're just running away. Okay, they give up. Oh, he's they're holding like his other head. Zeus. He held, held his one head. That's funny. How does Hercules grab wind? Great questions that we'll never find the answer to. <laughs> And he threw wind. You could have thrown them into space and make them spaces problem. That's just rude. <laughs> well, yeah. Hades will find that eventually. He wants to rule the cosmos after all. I can't yeah. believe it. I put 18 years into that planet. Yes. <laughs> I really don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> At least he doesn't hate you. Beat Herc, no matter how many times you try. Yeah, stay in the underworld where you belong. That was a good line, Donald. Good job, Donald. I did Round of applause to Donald. To be Is this the game in Donald Dex better? His little Maybe. And a trio of clowns. I know we have oh, clown what? shoes, but that's kind of rude. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and destroy you. Hades. <sighs> Hey, D's nuts! <laughs> <laughs> the exit is that way. Oh god, that was good. Good job, me. Alright. <laughs> Hold on. I almost forgot. <laughs> nice. That one's for trying to wreck thieves. He kinda did. Pay for this. I'll yeah. try. He did. <laughs> Oh, he's better than me. <laughs> nutmeg? That's kinky, Goofy. <laughs> oh, God. Why did you put that image in <laughs> Dude, I ship him. Sorry, Herc, and sorry, uh, Mirabelle sure or whatever her name was. Behind? Isn't the cow. Your home? I'm your family. I mean, he never oh, really grew up there, though. Yeah. If I stayed, Unlike Sora. I'd have to be apart from the person I love most. And that life would be empty. It used to be Meg, but then Goofy came in and swiped her in front of me. He slid into her DMs. Goofy. Look at her. <laughs> <I find laughs> he thinks he's looking at her. <laughs> or him. Hercules. Uh, <laughs> she walks right past him, hugs Goofy. <laughs> Goofy. Quite the ship you've made. Sora. Oh, you never I got love back it. To your question, can I help? Mm, it's okay. I think I'm meant to. And you can't help. Myself. I just need to find Riku. I'll find my strength. Exactly. The way you found yours. Something to fight for, with all my heart. Dude, you have a thousand mm. friends. You, you have, have so many answer. people to fight for. Well, I just. You've got heart, Sora. Just keep at it. And I Kyrie's know apparently not a good enough reason it. for him. Yeah, <laughs> I might even end up stronger than you are. Or Riku. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just, the more this is going on, I know it's just the first world, but I feel like something really bad's gonna happen to Zora. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know, it just feels like one of those things where he's trying so hard to get his power back, and like, he'll get his power back, but then Ooh. just decimation will happen. What about the Keyblade, I though? I like the, That's... I like the, I like the <laughs> theories that we're hearing, though. It's always That's cool to hear cool. what you think. Yay! Is it the right or wrong? Um, but yeah, I like the keyblade a lot. It's the thunder, you got the clouds in there, and it's very olympus -y, and it's got Zeus on the tip, which just looks like a black cloud to me, so I just kind of ignore that it's Zeus and yeah. just think of it like a black cloud. I like it better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I like Same. it, though. Pretty cool. Uh, keyblade for and some of the keyblades that you obtain are capable of changing shape or form changing, which is what we call it. Um, each keyblade has its own unique form changes. While the Keyblade's in form change, you'll gain abilities, uh, access to different combos and magic as well as devastating, which we've kind of seen already. When yeah. you change the Keyblade's appearance, it'll change according to the uh, absence of the specialized. Some of the Keyblade's change will work with the Keyblade's change. And so it's the King's defense against the other Keyblade's change. I think so. Yeah, but you got we read that already. Okay. <laughs> I just like need a, a sim. <laughs> I just need a circle. Uh, Heroes are the Keyblade. Yeah, we'll see it later. I don't care. All right, try to go with a new Keyblade. Thank you for giving me the option to. It makes me not forget. <laughs> we'll keep the other two. Why not? You can see their stats. So this is a five. It also has Defender. I now have three of the Defender abilities, which just makes me basically invincible at low health. Uh, all right, cool. <laughs> all 
Uh, Sora! Sora! I don't have that other damage control equipped, though. Sad face. Goofs! I want Lucky Strike, man. I like Lucky Strike. I can't equip it right now. I need more AP. I do have AP boost, though. Got nice. I run on Sora, though. He's the only one that matters. <laughs> uh, damage control. Uh, I guess I can't really afford too much on him. I, I can do go. Oh, yeah, let's do the auto finish. That way I don't mess up the finishers again on those things. It's nice to have that one. Oh, these guys again. sure this box with the book of prophecies is for reals? Yeah, I think that dig bad clap was pulling your leg. Be quiet and dig, you imbecile. Oh my God, he's working for you. Calm down, I lady. find that book of prophecies and make it my own. This was oh. the only clue we have. We cannot afford to dismiss it without a thorough no reaction to that, I'm just, just saying a shot in the dark ain't gonna I'm trying to think. Any closer to... About what? And pay attention. <laughs> what is it? Would it be have the same black something? box then? Because I don't Show think that had a book of prophecies in it, unless it did. Bowl. Dude, calm so down. Easy. This has got to be that Pandora's box Hades mentioned. Leave it. <laughs> After all, Hopefully, bury that again. That is not the box which That's I. That's kind of dangerous. We are finished with this world. Come. No. That's a very dangerous. Pete, Pete, please bury that. Please put it back. Oh, oh. no. Zigbar's over here, like, hmm, Pandora's box, hey. May your heart. May your what? Oh. What was he gonna say? What? I have no idea what he was gonna say. Was he gonna say, may your heart be your guiding key? Nah, the, see, nobody, nobody in these games knew about that. There's no way. That couldn't be a Retcon. thing. Retcon. Nope, nobody could have known that. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, is this, oh, oh. Oh. Is this the dark world? Please be. <sighs> Let it be the dark world. Oh, I yes. will destroy you. Oh, God. Good to one of them, but, oh, God. I don't know if you saw the rat there. I see the rat. <laughs> I see both of them. Riku's looking awesome. And we're going to find out how awesome he looks in the next episode. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. We are going to wrap this one up here. In the next one, obviously, we'll continue this and see where things go now that we complete our first world. Heck freaking yeah. So uh, we'll see what Riku looks like. We'll see what they're doing here, how they're doing here and all that fun jazz. So thank you again all so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.